Before you open Photoshop, you need to unwrap UVs, divide character to separate parts if needed, and export to OBJ format. If you're not sure how to do that, watch my previous tutorials. So open your OBJ format, just click OK, OK, and right here it's character in the scene. When you're in selection mode, you have access to additional tools that look like a one in any 3D program, where it can move, pan and rotate around the character. You can also use traditional Photoshop tools to zoom in or move. But if you want to rotate around the character, you need to go back to Selection and 3D Tools. In addition to traditional layers and channels, you also have access to 3D. And here you can see all the parts of my character where I can access them one by one. I can hide them as I paint them. So if you have a complicated character, divide it to separate pieces so you can access them easily as you paint. Also, under each part slash mesh, you find material attached to it. So hide all the parts that you don't want to paint, move, zoom in on the part that you'll be working on, select it, and just grab a brush and start painting. I will not apply too many details to this character because I'm using it just for this short tutorial. As you're working on each part, remember to rotate so you can paint the back view of the mesh. As you're working on your character, please remember to rotate the view, not the mesh. I noticed when I move the mesh instead the view, my UV map becomes distorted. So as you can see, all the Photoshop tools work same way on 3D as they do work on regular 2D project. Right now I'm painting all the meshes on one layer. If you want you can add separate layers for each part. If you're using Photoshop to paint your 3D character, make sure your computer is powerful enough, especially if you have high poly count character. Also, I'll probably not use this for game character or character for animation. This tool is mostly designed for 3D printing. But if you don't have uh, access to other programs, you can use this as a replacement. Please remember, this is just a short tutorial. So if you want to learn more about 3D options in Photoshop, please check help files and tutorials from Adobe. So after I finish painting my character, I can generate map. and here I can make additional changes, fix things, add things, and make it better. Again, I'm not spending too much time here because I use this for tutorial only. After you finish making adjustments to your map, you can export them. So click on 3D and choose Export 3D Layers. Then choose the format that works best for you. I'm using OBJ and choose the image format and click OK. Change the file name if you need to and click Save button. Now you have a finished map without UV template on the top. If you need to, you can make additional changes, add details or fix areas that need adjustments. After you finish working in Photoshop, Go open 3D Studio Max where you have your character and apply newly created map. So pick shader, click on the fuse, bitmap, click OK and open the map that you just created. Select the whole character and apply it make it visible. And that's how you can use Photoshop to paint 3D model. Thank you.